Hello everyone, welcome back in. are going to be starting Hogwarts Legacy, and I am starting on this screen because I didn't link, but this is just to show what I have. So we got House Hufflepuff, the Dragon Heart String uh, Core with Beach Wand, 12 and a half inches with Unbending Flexibility. And let's make sure I'm not going to have audio quality issues. <laughs> So, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted as Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. The term begins on 1st of September. The preliminary supplies have been collected for you. We'll come here on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for reasonable restriction on age sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside the school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to let Professor El Eleazar Fay to help hone your spell cast for escorting you from London to the castle for the start of your feast. In the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, M. Weasley. Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. And we will do character creation in just a bit. I do not really ever care how my character looks. I'll probably find some way to put a mask over him because I don't care. <laughs> looks better if I push the buttons. Let's stop trying to do this while I'm typing this stuff. What do we got here? Um, as long as I'm very tempted to just stick to the generic because I don't ever really care. My foreign glasses actually do wear glasses. on PS5. How's anyone doing today? I will unmute this. I will. There we go.
Okay, I can never tell the difference, but... Yeah, we'll just go with the default. <laughs> I don't care. This is literally just default gear, except just with glasses on. That's the only time I care. <laughs> ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. Hey, You'll be a force you to be doing? reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. Yeah, I'll let you know what I think about Amish. It's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, yeah, I've sir. Seen, I've seen After very, you. very, very little in this space. Ages been since, been since I've been to the castle. Off. Would be good to player. see the old pile of rocks. Are you nervous about the goblins? your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Yeah, this is the big thing that we did in the last Merlin's beard! How did you- Wait! 
We do. Charm. <laughs> it's called Astio. Akio Astio. I'm not saying spells wrong, sorry. <laughs> Are you alright? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor oh, George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon doing? would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key, or why. Well, I work with COVID right now. I think I've got a decent batch of people talking up and coughing constantly on He take us farther from <laughs> London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. Do you think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason, and I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Oh, you know, oh, that's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. That 
was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your wand work's improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. What if I just shoot you? We're close now, it's just ahead. Steady yourself! Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they value their privacy. That portkey led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Objective. Okay, I'll see you. I'll see you later, Alien. I'll talk to you then. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. He with the hydrate. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, I think Skyrim ports this, but no, I can't. Fine, I'll go down the correct path. We'll just random ship with spells. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! someone have conjured that enchanted stone here and how is there a room behind it what room I don't see anything there's that glow again like the glow on the port key container what in Merlin's name Godric's heart where are we I don't believe it. We can green guts. Hello. Hey. 
Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Ooh. to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key? Hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. After you. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many volts are there in Greenlands? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great okay, wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. on the porky container no darker i saw that same glow on the dragon's collar yeah what was that we were just wondering about that goblin back there he watches over the oldest section of the bank rare anyone goes there anymore so he might be won the rebellion goblins here we are So ancient magic might be goblin magic? When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Okay. <laughs> Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. 
no time like the present. Who isn't shit, Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh, this is gonna be weird. Steady your wand and guide along this uh, symbol's path along the spell. Press corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion. Oh, that is so freaking weird. Okay. The Goblin Guard or oh, okay. Revelio. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Okay. A door. Well, that's there a start. Is. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you okay, should cast so we have, to have the statues match. And Lumos. Um, I'm actually sliding your spell set. Um, light to be a wand. Lumos. Walk. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed oh, to go? What's hap- Ah, that's what the wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos.
Lumos. Seems okay, I have no choice. Do all three. I'm gonna have to fight my way out of here. Hobtango to, to stun enemies with a super fight counter attack. So stun enemies take extra damage and get back gold. Okay, so this time, yes, we can carry it. The shot has a fake. Uh, there you are. How did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing that memories. Pensive. I wonder. Memories? Yep, it is. Absolutely, that's follow memories. Follow my lead. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. No, We've done all that we can. Guys names. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed. 
but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. No. <coughs> Uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have it. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> okay, that's not normal. Problem. That's a very pissed off atomic bomb. Yep. <laughs> Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed yeah, that's a normal goblin, totally man. unaffected by my magic. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability Hogwarts. to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. And there's the express. Very old Scarlet Inn. I see the weird symbol now in the middle of the, middle of the W. So I'm guessing that's going to be the symbol for ancient magic. That's going to be my guess. Could be wrong, but everything that we've seen in ancient magic has that symbol. the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, 
I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening yeah. between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? I think we'd be sorted with the first year. So we might have a separate thing afterwards. Phineas Nigellus Black. Oh. So this is, the, this is the Nigelia's black. The this is the master. painting that helps Hermione and Harry think much later. Nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. We're gonna be in Hufflepuff, that's what the thing we have stuff for to go with. Professor Weasley! We've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Squeak the badger. The lion. And the evil hawk tribe of the lion. Here we go. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? Yep. You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Hmm. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. Yeah. Sword Hat is taking a choice in the cow and sorting you into your house, Hufflepuff. No patience, loyalty, and hard work. Except house. So he makes an entrance. Better be Hufflepuff! Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season Come has on, no been cancelled. Nothing like having a car that's the coolest thing to do. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. Huh? But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. So Professor Weasley's probably the head of House of Gryffindor? As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. Black as deputy your headmistress, head it is my distinct is honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. So he wouldn't be Slytherin else if he wasn't headmaster, so he would probably be Slytherin. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. 
Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. <laughs> now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff Common Room. Yeah, we haven't ever seen this is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. I'm not going to have to do this every time because I am not going to remember. Well done. Now go okay, on in good. and I don't get have, some God, sleep. I don't have to remember have a big day ahead mind. of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Other thing they just made up for this game was actually said at some point like the stuff that Rowling had said about how the Hufflepuff common room works. Because we've seen Gryffindor, because of course Harry's Gryffindor, so we've seen Looks Gryffindor like everyone's gone. series. Let's head to the common room. Um, you see Slytherin in book two, and you see um Ravenclaw in book seven. So I wonder if you see all of Rebellio. them. Rebellio. Oh, that's not the right button. So I do wonder if Hufflepuff just said somewhere off screen, like most of some of the stuff that she says. Eat the apple. Arthur, Andel, and Lenora. That's Lenora. That's Fat Fryer in the background. Oh, hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. I am a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Indeed. Four years of schoolwork is a bit... Being that far behind, I'd feel so... Inadequate. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. Do you really think you should have been in Ravenclaw? Well, my brothers were. They both work in ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, okay. valor, daring. The, the old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Yeah, I see Fat Fire there. Um, What's this? This would be mm. this is Adelaide. Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Yes. <laughs> Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Are you sure everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Thank you, Adelaide. 
Be seeing you. Of course, and good luck. Arthur's got you. It's all right. You don't need to be frightened, little cat. I want to help the cat. Uh, I want to help the fur baby. I can't quite reach. Uh, uh, come on, you went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let yeah, alone a cat. cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way, all right? I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I'd better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Have you ever had a pet, Arthur? No. My mother's a muggle, and as soon as the puff skein that my dad brought home stuck its tongue up her nose, yes, it so went right back to the shop. Half <laughs> half blood. Nice meeting you, Arthur. And good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, We've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. This is gonna be my text. Whoa. Um. That's new. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of okay, what you are yeah, learning, so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Does it just teleport out? Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. <laughs> go back to messing around the combat system. That's the thing I'm like the most excited The guide about. will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I certainly oh, would have appreciated a, something painting. like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to that your That was standards. the kitchen painting back there. Do Difficulty keep up. banana, I think it is? Or is it, no, it's pear. And it gives you access to the house health kitchen. Right? Got another free. Simply Can cast Revelio on it, oh, and oh, we'll see... Revelio! I love recipe book. We would contain some of Helga Hufflepuff's original creations. This book holds a collection of Hogwarts students' favorite recipes over the years. <coughs> <coughs> some dishes like the pickled Drago plums are likely an acquired taste. Challenge La Plex Field Guide Pages in Hogwarts. You unlock a field guide challenge. Your challenge for completing challenges appear here. Field challenges are the only way to acquire XP. 
for experience points. Oh, that's not very bad. That is. The wisdom level XP earned from challenges increase your levels in power. Build out contracts your current challenge. 31st guy plays from your challenge. Cook guy pages. Each challenge has tier special rewards unlocked as each tier you complete from appearances to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed for the challenge when you come back after you collect rewards. Okay. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and outside. Revelio. Timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Discover the flu flames fast travel point over the map at any time to fast travel even discover flu, flu flames. It's divided into two main areas. The left side is where students and professors live, includes the house, common rooms, the great hall. With the great hall region. You see the flu Flames available in that region. Um, green or I have discovered. Gray or unrevealed. Right side is academic, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Took the library annex region to continue. Um, she has unlocked the central hall for me. You rotate the map and fast travel to central hall. Let me go back there and grab the kitchen painting now. And here we are. Quite the time saver. Yes, very. These stairs lead directly to central hall. Revelio. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. And grab that. Definitely use Revelio every so often. I'm seeing like some stuff being highlighted. Like Always oh, something, something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend okay, both yeah, Charms you know, and Defense Against combat. the Dark Love Arts combat. classes today. And I'd like to be yes, sure you get to Hogsmeade combat, combat as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, jinxes. Spells, charms, jinxes. So, to, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. Professor Ronan. Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining yeah. wizard. Yeah, I already know. She's using a little bit. I've walked here with her. There are so many little, those little blue Can you tell me more things. about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond now, the am I correct in guessing, Alien, that, that she is headed for Defense Warhouse? Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Yes, aspire to auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. I guess names. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. Be a bunch of stuff. You should You're be able to find all, all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have it's much to actually learn. Have Happily, yeah, I know that you that you probably all talking about um, assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed. I think um, OP time. is saying he's in Slytherin. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's, he's been be terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. The My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. No, I figured I was either going to be uh, Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff. There he is. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well... I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, 
I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic. Yeah, it I definitely want, do you want to go mess around dark arts at some point? Well, I'm just glad maybe you on a different run or something, but I might Perfect just kind of play this how I normally would. To Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. I'm, I'm going to go back well. and mess around the combat system. Enough chit-chat. I, I need to get to class my myself. Part, so Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Revelio. I did see this. And I had death. Okay. So I guess I don't have the ability for this yet. Um, I'll talk to you later, Fig. I'm gonna go back and grab the kitchen real quick. I've always said that. Oh, um. Oh, it's just Lumos. Okay, but before I do that, I'm gonna go back over here to the hall and go to the. You're not gonna let me, are you, game? <sighs> Fine. I'll behave. Okay, but use Lumos on the page. Lumos. What are you talking about this picture up here? I totally did not mean to do that. Revelio. Okay, the black one I was just at. So I'm as close as I can get to it. It might not let me interact with it because I haven't learned to interact with it yet. So let's talk to Faker and see if, he, if he'll teach me how to. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. As as I was hoping it's our right. paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't oh, yeah. know where yeah, this part that I've seen. embarked upon will lead. Okay, it may require to find a bit more frame. flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you like are, the I believe like the ability you possess oh, obliges you to be well trained. Not a combat I don't know Happily, you, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of princess. witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not so subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay, unlock your features, grand XP. Demon guide statues, collection chests, field guide maps. Eleviosa from Defense Against the Dark Arts. It's lost by spell level requirements. You can do the choir level, have the spell. Quest rewards, track quest. So we get either Accio or Levioso. Um, I think I think I'm honestly gonna have to do charms first because I think defense is gonna be more combat. I'm gonna get the boring stuff out of the way. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. 
For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. I wish I was there. Lumos. Revelio. Okay, that's the torch sconce. It is You can't this imagine Revelio. how inconvenient travel was before. It looks like it's right above me. There's also something right there. Okay, oh, let me get out of aim mode. Pet the cat. Must pet cat. <laughs> um. Must pet cat. <laughs> okay, I'll stop being distracted. There are so many cats in Hogwarts. It wouldn't surprise me. Revelio. Let me show something else here. I'll stop getting distracted by the cat. Let's go. I'm trying to remember what the Dimma guys things would be though. Okay, I'm gonna say this ahead of time. I'm gonna keep getting distracted with cats, petting the cats. Because you must pet the fur babies. Grab this Professor Pig's classroom. Go in here. <laughs> they are literally everywhere. Okay, I will eventually probably get tired of penny cats. But I don't see it for a while. Oh, someone's burning something in there. Um Revelio. Dude, I love Harry. I love Harry Potter, Jonesy. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We grew up with the back in fifth grade with my mom. Give me a dick to do it. So hell, I've been listening to books while I'm at work. Fish them up. I'm out almost on board the rings. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the nope. new student. <laughs> Have you met Italian. Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all hey. spent your holidays practicing <laughs> obliviates on one another. <laughs> uh, do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Be you. Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. You know, in, yeah, no one's in Harry Potter at least I've seen so far. There are some names I recognize, like Phineas and Jealous. Who goes like last names like Weasley? Akio. 
That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh yeah. air. A thing is... After me! Fuck, what's your name? Is the squid that lives in... Perfect Drive. Can't think, can't think what her first name is. Hey, man cake. How you doing? I'm, gonna go back ah. and comment, though. I'm grabbing this first. I've though. always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our uh, prowess well, with instance, the summoning you charm that to you the can test? Sit there and listen I... to while you are doing other stuff. That's why I've been listening to a bunch of series at work. Yeah, we usually use black. <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Some Accio on one of the spheres the and relinquish your button. charm at the last possible moment. Now, Accio of this like gobstones. Splendid! No, nope. not to worry. Excellent control there. Happens to I the best am of us. a little bit late then. That's it. Technically, <laughs> is that zero or fifty? <laughs> Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly okay, competition. Okay, so you definitely have to. Miss and I, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Here we go! Okay. There we go. Akio. So let go immediately, you'll hit forty. So you need to do my bad. Do you need to lay just a little bit then? Can we also knock each other off? That's still gonna be. That's still gonna be thirty. Crap. Quite hey Jedi, thank you for the 15 what minutes, man. Is... She's gonna knock herself into 50, isn't she? Yep, she is. That is how it's done. You knock your theirs off? Akio. Yeah, she's gonna beat me here. Very good! I got close a couple times though. I think, I, I think if I delayed letting go just a little bit more, I would have Let us make this time. a bit more interesting, shall we? Okay. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round yeah, settles it all. Each other off. Let us see this. Yes. Akio. Ah. There you go. That's fifty. Oh, that was an execution. Barely, <laughs> but it is still a fifty. And she also lost her 30 because she got knocked off. There we go. Um, each of the houses represent different qualities. Like, 
I'm Hufflepuff, which is loyalty, perseverance, and the third one I can never remember. Do not think I will start going easy on you now. The so our raising college alien is. I let to go a little bit too late. Nope. Nope. Woo! That's it. I did not knock myself out. Okay. Yeah, I think I I win at this point. <laughs> Unless I knock myself off, I win here. But like Ravenclaw is wit and intelligence. Uh, Gryffindor is courage, bravery. Yeah. As Alien says, it is different personality types where you would belong. I win. Good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. So, I guess this is going to be how stuff's going to work for all the lessons. It's going to be a little mini game after. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks well, to become proficient with all that ambition and cunning. Took weeks for me to get anything house. right when I transferred. That's why um, Alien is it saying you knock him off. You I play promise. like a Slytherin. <laughs> That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. <laughs> to put <laughs> it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So you yes, bigger than Hogwarts. Oh, but it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Yep. And so as Amy is saying, um, Slytherin's often too ambitious for their own good and often try to cheat. And they're also arrogant assholes, most of them. Um, yeah, I'm you can cast travels, spells without a wand. Oh, some. yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Yeah, wandless Not to magic mention is very, quite very, convenient if one is without the wand. It's very seldom I must seen admit, in Harry Potter, however, wandless that magic. I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better yeah, not keep not. him waiting. Well, thank you, Professor Wayne. Until next time. Um, of course, you can use a word if you would. If you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, Why? managing to best as gifted a student well, as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. And now you got fun combat system. <laughs> Hello there. Um, 
Flag quest now available. Finds our region hardware once this flag and it's gonna explore in the world. We're going to mark this. And quests. Let's get star cards. Challenges. Okay. There you go. Challenges. And quests. Missionary gloves. Appearances. Yeah, here we go. This is, um, I have all this stuff here from linking and then doing the pre-order. So I'll probably run some of that stuff at some point. In the house recipe. I just unselect that like a dumbass. Yep, I did. <laughs> Student, aren't you? Revelio. And then the werewolves joined the goblins, goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was oh. Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what? I won't say my goodbyes. Um, I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flack. Ooh, fight, fight. It's a bold That's attack. math equation. Was the minister a boot or the minister a flack? So, zero Stop plus it, Peeves. Three, you'll get us in trouble. I'm in minus trouble you will three minus be, zero you is can't two. Give smack. She says it's a boot so and he it's says it's zero, a flack. Peeves, two, enough. Three, four, five, six, seven, you'll get us all detention. So, That'd be zero, one. And you're both wrong anyway. Okay, so it was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boots and it wasn't flack, but you're all in that. trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> so 12 and 8? That'd be one, I guess, so it'd be seven. The weird squid thing? Map? Okay. Lucent Cobalt Runic Scarf. Okay, so this is how you'll get more pieces of equipment by doing these. I think we saw one of these earlier, and I'm just gonna figure out what it was for. Question update Puffskin statue. Um, level one mock. Okay, so I guess I have to hit, get it um, lower more for that, wherever that is. Oh, also, I saw you. Come here. Akio! I said I could I could see myself being either Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff. No, once you point out math equation. <laughs> um, collections. I'm also just trying to keep. I hate having exclamation marks everywhere on my stuff. Um, here we go. This way. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. You gotta find the diagram in Divination Tower to figure out the more cads as do now. I must pet them both. <laughs> you can't see here the power to the controller. Okay. 
I need to really stop being distracted. Okay, so still, what is this? Lumos. There we go. Lumos. Um. Yeah, I don't understand that one though. Rebellio. Look for that area right around you. Okay. And I'm guessing you have to use Lumos again? Lumos. Looks like it's one of the paintings. This is locked. No, this goes back outside. Um. Like a gnome and a mushroom stuff. Find that window in the columns from the painting. Revelio. It's not too far, at least. For, okay, from at least what you have found, they're not that far away. Okay, so it's still it's gonna be probably somewhere nearby here. Yeah, that's the defense against the dark arts. If I can find that painting, I think I can find it. I can find that painting or something. If you. If you use reveal, it'll show the butterfly somewhere. So that's different. Revelio. Muggle. Well, see, the thing is, I actually plug in headphones, y'all won't have audio at all. If I plug in headphones, there's a reason why most of the time I don't play with audio. Flame. Thank you for the tab, Dede. Because I can do that on the Xbox and other stuff. I can have. Audio without messing. I could have headphones and not messing up my game, but at this point, I've also just got really used to not having audio when I play. One of these. Revelio. Gotcha. Akio. No use Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Oh, okay. So this is all the spells then. The Reparo. I mean, the darkest one of oh, Disillusionment. Guardium. Transfiguration. Conjuring. Altering. Evan Skill. Imperial Case. Okay, so these are the Unforgivables. Crucio. Avada Kedavra. Um, okay, so this is Protego. Stupefy, Avilio, Basic. So these be the others. 
Ancient magic throw. Ancient magic. Okay. Aloha Mora. This is probably something I have to find in the world. Through one of the teachers or something. Perfect is a stun. Okay, so it's a stealth knockout then. Uh, nice to see you, my young friend. Yeah. I gotta have more fun with Tom. Is that all you've got? Yeah. Oh, so. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso, <laughs> Levioso. It does. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now. Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Day one, you got him on the symbol path. Okay, so it's so, so, so. gonna get more complicated as the game goes on. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with the basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast? This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, <coughs> a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. As Master Pro so artfully like helped me demonstrate earlier. earlier. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Levioso. Good. Now, the basic cast. Well done. <coughs> well done. Very good. Yeah. But okay. the best way to practice is by dueling. We we'll start with you. Duelists, so. take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. This is why I want to have fun. I'll have fun with this. all the freaking spells. This should be Levioso, this Protego. Be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. If only all of my students were this adept. You're good. Thank you. I do enjoy life with you. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> you can use spell combos to take out enemies. Yes, but I don't think I have any spell combos yet. I put you on the spot, the and, stuff, and you and rose the, to the challenge. From the Points to Hufflepuff. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Yeah. Understood, Professor. So, 
I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. You know, I got the practice? Yeah. It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Yeah, you gotta have, have a tango just ride and hit R2. Yeah. Like, but I, know I, just had, I just had to get my Magic timing requires and stuff down. intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain Ooh, exclusive, unsanctioned okay, jewel I like organization. This. I like combat. Exclusive and unsanctioned. I like combat. Count me in. Combat is Excellent. Fun. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Luke and Brattleby. I'm not going to remember that name. Till next time. Hopefully see this quest there. Let's complete Fisk's Towers. Revelio. Off on another adventure, are we? New quest in the quest long. So, ooh, I'm okay. I think I'm supposed to talk to the other person outside of Charms. Um, and Weasley after class. Cross wands round one. Under twenty that way. And I think I'm honestly. I'm not gonna do that. I wanna have more fun. I wanna have more fun with the combat system. I need to go down. I need to go up. Okay, I need to go up. Do I have a... Uh, there's no way in hell I have a flu flame over there. I can do one over there if I can start trying to find some. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Hogwarts. I need more secrets and stuff. I'm on my way over there. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Accio. Lumos. Levioso. Okay, anything about that yet? Lumos. Levioso. Ah. Hey guys. Let's go up here. 
Oh, it would be challenges and collection. Don't have that quite yet. Quests. you can I help you Sebastian told me to see you about a club if Sebastian vouches for you that's all I need to know I coordinated duels for crossed ones a dueling club of sorts it's invitation only so you must have really impressed Sebastian I'm flattered to hear that Sebastian's not a bad duelist either imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel how does cross wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And okay. to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining there. pastime. I agree. Besides, in cross wands, you can duel with a partner if you like. You're the partner. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into yeah. the ring? Sure, why not? Get Come me in back. the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Do the yellow shield control spells, hard to lock. I just need to get my button dry. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's Alien. strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Protego! I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Revelio. It's 
going good. We are having fun doing stupid shit. <laughs> then I am way too addicted to combat we'll for my own good. Now. So. <laughs> also, but what are we, we, we going to do first, though, is we are going to pet the cat. <laughs> Gotta pet the cat. Gotta pet the fur babies. Oh. Revelio. Wyvern Fountain. The fountain in the configuration courtyard is likely as a wide room top and serves a relaxing place for students to gather. Far rooms to the contrary is possibly started by Sir Cadogan. This is most certainly not been the wyvern, a wise slain by the lie of the nine in spite of yourself. We're doing, what's going good so far? This is another one of those doors. Okay. It's 13 on top. That would be 8. I think, yeah. The spider on the top triangle, which is this one. Also, I saw you. Where are you? Akio. And then that. Nine and. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe 14, so I need three. Hydra. That's not the right one. Okay, where's my dice? I... Let's see, so where's my dice thing here? Revelio. The statue of Gregory the Swarmy. On the statue of Grisha and Grin, it's fixed the uh, medieval wizard Gregory the Swarmy. The wizard are famous for many Gregory's not this concoction. A potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave the potion is his best friend. Okay. So that's one. Akio. No. Okay. So I'm willing to bet. Revelio. The last one's back behind this, isn't it? Nice to see you, my young friend. Um, that was a pretty fun game. Akio. That's up. So where's the bottom one? Is it above me? Revelio. Ah, it is. I need a hydro. of coffee and more train. Okay, and we're back here. Okay. Go back. Thank you. Revelio. That's How inconvenient travel was also just trying to use many these fast travel points as I can, so it's gonna make it faster to get around. How so? What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. <coughs> I trust your first classes went well? Yeah, I got they the phone did, combat. Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. 
isn't there. Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a Streela. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign charms. your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, yes. we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they well, rarely the sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring okay. objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I think Sebastian. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Off on another adventure, are we? Be fast to run to receive your first assignment. Types of quests, keeping five professors, give you new spells. This will be your paro. Okay, sweet. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed, I do, and an exceedingly yeah, useful Paro one at that. The mending charm, repel, fixes things right, right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Rapero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. There's a flying page near the broken statue in, in the... This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Akio! Got it. And the other one is in the tower. Revelio! A 
flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. Revelio. The name of Ilias, this painting, this young orphan wizard Ilias, who famously slaved his, saved his entire village from the army of Ventors and the dark wizard Persiscon by conjuring a mouse with her. So yeah, that's the person that first beat the Mentors. Yeah, so we'll I trust the preliminary. Stuff. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Use of mint broken objects, pieces of the environment. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken Repair. statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Revelio. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Lumos. Levioso. <laughs> Revelio. And that. Good thing to do is I can get more, I guess. Um, okay, now I have the plane. What are you up to now? Half a bottle of flabbergasted. I have that. Revelio. Journal Home Fountain is a unique fountain. Features intricately carved statues of denizens in the magical world and crusade of a set of stone sirens encircling the banks. Awesome. This cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. Nora Evolutionally. Hello, hey. Lenora. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this I painting. One of these. I never noticed it that's before. That's why I couldn't do this one earlier, if Alien. I know Hogwarts, and I do. An empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat yes, of a riddle, is. to be honest. Of course it's a riddle. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Lumos. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Over here. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so sp Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Transfiguration required. Ha! I knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. <laughs> Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. 
So is meat. Although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured page. it out. Okay, I saw the that. I should see. Akio. Revelio. Oh, more. <coughs> right. Oh, okay. Wait, um, there is a torch out here, isn't there? Over here, Oops, quest. I really have made a mess of. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened Ooh, my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it no, that way. They won't. I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did our meat tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to the... Got it. Only four more to go. Akio! Revelio! Back. My suggest a ban on magic in the library. Someone sneaking into the restricted section. In Casino Blooms, you think the library is your own personal air. You wish you could practice the latest incantation. It's most disruptive. What am I considered P saying back to here and such paintings? Okay, so I need to be looking at fine books. Akio! I saw you, by the way. Come here. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Yeah, let's not read that. Okay, we can go that way. Oh, there's no books in there. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Most pleased to be included. Okay, good. I do have a staircase up. Oh. 
kill. Lumos. <coughs> Akio. I see that over there. Flying around here, where are you? Revelio. Akio. Lumos. Yeah, we already have it before this. Revelio. This old librarian, one of the first librarians of Hogwarts, is depicted here. But rumor has it has no tolerance whatsoever for noisy students, and it's made with the only level use of the silent at the silencing charm of the slightest sneezes. Where is that last book? Akio. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime <coughs> soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Probably. Brushing my Latin will always Thank help. Thank goodness some people are trying. Mark this again. Let's stop getting distracted. Let's actually knock that out. We got pages. This. Almost have that done. Quests. Assignments. Complete main quests. Complete side. Relationship quests. Okay. I'm a little six now. Knocked on a lot of stuff. We're already level six. Revelio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Well, fancy yeah. meeting you here. Hello, Sebastian. What am I doing stupid shit? Ah, my new charm. <laughs> I I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. I'm, I'm is this your start. first foray into the village? It is. Oh, I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Yeah, well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? I have a design that will take you out that fucking Cinderace and Charizard. Three of his team was nothing but out of weakness to water or dragon. Yeah. Like you no, four or five. Yeah, I'm gonna worry about taking Angel. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're really the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. 
Speaking of Weasley, she seems yeah. to have taken quite a shine to you. <laughs> Has she? Yeah. If you want to stay in here for Grandpa, I can enter in the combat I'm section. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me yeah, with anything, the given my detention <laughs> record. <laughs> Spend a lot no, of time in detention, do you? They are. Just enough to keep me well rounded. Expired. Not bad. Speaking of detention, yeah. this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. <laughs> Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. Revelio. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Loyalty and perseverance. I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks That's I shouldn't confident. be allowed in the restricted section. And I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Yeah, I think it would have been Ravenclaw. Oh, just one moment. But I found out that this is Hufflepuff is loyalty and perseverance. Like, yeah, I'll give it that. They're there. pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion no, it's just ingredient. Has colors. <laughs> Not because it rubs his intelligence or anything, it's just burp. Man, it's big from the Forbidden Forest. Look. Have you What's seen going on? <laughs> See for yourself. Crows are right in the it? That's what the. That's what the. You certainly don't see that every day. Burm horses. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Likely already named horses. <laughs> the left is the Forbidden Forest. Are you saying horses? Out of bounds to all students. Yeah, it's a blue flame man. Oh, oh. hence the name. Precisely. No they think it's too shit. dangerous. I think they need to have more yeah. confidence. Yeah, I'm just gonna show you this. There are so many freaking. Why do you still have because I haven't thrown it away yet. Um. Where's the where's the ability to see freaking spells? Um. I found something that let me see all my spells early. I don't know what it was. Oh, here it is. There's all this, this is the spell list. <laughs> ah, you can see Hogsby just past those ruins up ahead. <laughs> Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little? It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads Rebellion of places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. These look so creepy. Stuff. Yeah, this is all dead. This is the unforgivables. Which is apparently a quest line to unlock them. Huh. <laughs> Alien say he's gonna do it. He's, he's thinking about doing a slither run. As you immediately gonna start fiddling with stuff. <laughs> yep, and now you're done with the spinny spinny. <laughs> <laughs> Your girlfriend gets so distracted I've always on thought this. Thestral's pulling a carriage a this bit This castle Korean. and the castle that you Though I pet. suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see <laughs> You're going to pet all the fur babies. Unfortunately. <laughs> but you've seen quite a bit yourself first hand too. Probably don't pet the hippogriff unless you're dragon first. attack. Hopefully the rest Remember of your the year isn't as <laughs> No, they don't kick, they claw with the talons. I'm gonna get clawed in the face. I'm gonna swap my half parts. <laughs> It would be so much easier if they gave me a broom. Revelio. That's so cool, though. Oh, yeah, they're really cool, but really, really fucking strange. Mr. Moon. He keeps me this, but He's the Hogwarts highlights, caretaker. Highlights all Looks a bit worse for wear. So, like, it marks this. I can grab, go grab Hello, this. Hello, Mr. Moon. Grab this. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, Someone's turn probably a little bit run. drunk. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, look right at me! Eyes big as saucers! 
What okay. did Mr. Moon? Demi guys, ugly and airy and terrifying. <laughs> I shall be at the castle. Potatoes. Good luck to both of you. A Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Pet, new cat. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. Oh, the most pet the cat's magic, we all okay? flock to it Let's like see. moths to a flame. Protego! So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spellcraft, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. This Hogsby Village is burning with different sites, shops, and other points of interest. You can navigate using your phone map. Of course you can. Oh my gosh. Show shops, points of interest. Um, Ollivanders. Tomes of Scrolls. Potions. Dress and Polyon. As rare. Beast byproducts. Room sticks. Okay. Revelio. We are marking this. I can come back here later. That will walk the whole page. Nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. That's how inside. I'm just trying to practice. I'm sure I'll have it too. Lumos. be right with ah it's you um just a moment please you're bold all of it. Ah, mm. hello sir i'm looking for for a new wand yes it's about time yes uh, about time well you're our new fifth year student are you not oh what am i saying of course you are gerbold olivander's the name but of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, no, this not ah, your core, Marvin. Yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how 
hard. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. I think that one's mine. Mine was, I think, a twelve. A rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Okay. Peace, Dragon Heart Stream. Yep. Natural. Oh, I can pick my color. How intriguing. Natural spiral ring stock. Classic, notched. Curious indeed. Um, I'm gonna keep the natural. Keep the gray. We're tied, yeah. Um, no, it wouldn't be beach. It was. Was it beach? How intriguing. He was beach. Curious indeed. We want to keep the natural though. What do you think? Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Revelio. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. 
creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Walk ability, conjure pine table with a small pot, use pot to a kind of magical plants, and a small potion station. If you're interested, feel free to take wow, a look around eater, at the rest of my inventory. There's a bunch of stuff. Revelio Accio Lumos Accio Levioso Reparo Lumos. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Revelio. J. Pippin Potions, established in 1753, so apothecary and hogsby with proprietary Perry. Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though... I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect, You'll discover all of this soon enough. Luck, As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also <laughs> offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Well, these be the what can well. I do for you today? Eridus, I found to develop on the skin, helping to protect them from harm. This is the defense potion. And then the healing. Yes, Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Focus, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Damage, visible.
Over here. Rebellion, Accio. Well, hello there. Rebellion. Magic Neep card. This card belongs to Thimsa Steel Steelsdale, who runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys bringing the thick things and engages customers at the shop. <coughs> I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Dittany seeds. Do have a look around. Plus Plenty of ingredients grass, to pique your interest, I'd wager. Big. Well, that's everything. Fertilizer. Better go and find Sebastian. Okay, let's just put some stuff. Need Sebastian in the circle. Revelio. Protego! Okay, how old do I get? Okay, I need to get those chests open. There's not two of those I've seen. What I have, I can't yeah. open them with. <coughs> Akio! I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it! We'll wear him down eventually. What was that? A taste of his own medicine. Nicely done! Let me open. Put 
Ortega. Troll, did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Hey, but I just that beard. <laughs> are you all right? <laughs> we are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The yeah, makings we'll of an aura, if you ask me. <laughs> okay, if you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer, Officer Singer, and thank you again. Repairer. There, good as new. I'll go and see what he wants. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. They didn't do more damage. Repairer. Revelio. Grass Lars Wizard Wear. Found in 1715 with locations in Paris, London, and Hogsmeade. Finds a variety of wizarding garments and accessories. Mr. Augustus Hill and his associate Octa Dibble. Help me help all those who wander in the shop, enjoying in particular the challenges of the customer with less fashion sense than most. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Revelio. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain okay, so protections, as it guy, were, life-saving okay. protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. No, it's just the exact same, except it just has that. New piece of gear, time to equip it. Fedora. What's the clock for Fedora? Hmm. Casual Lays Celtic. 
there really close? Tire. Pretty cool. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost yeah. pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. I sell even more. Unlike the chain maker's favor by students, the dueling practice making graphics. So only as a mean to display the latest wizarding fashion. Items. I'm getting so find. many feel guys. You're most welcome to Peru. I must cut the cut. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, we might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good awesome. one to know. You can hear the troll purring. <laughs> well, some guys are pissed at me that petting all the cats, dude. This is probably the third area. Enemies, armor troll. Okay, so flipping a uh, troll's upward with club with flipendo will have greater leverage hurting them even more that's cool do you remember that you come check that out durations decoration at the bottom You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade, that all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. So Ragnarok, I guess he knows what we are. <sighs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, no, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Running. Yeah. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Oh, 
Now, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> uh, uh, uh. Not timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Revelio. Um, I'm currently going back to go Ryan. His legend is always haunting me itself. Three broomsticks is the long standing gathering place for the villagers, and, and Hogwarts student wants to enjoy a butterbeer or fire whiskey. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Yeah. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Let's turn the common room for the night. Just like the Hogwarts map. And fast travel to your common room. A uh, common room. I think common room's over here. I don't remember where my common room is. The great hall. There it is. Hop, hop, hop. I completely forgot where it was. I will keep going for a couple of hours. I ha I have to stop somewhere. <laughs> I will keep playing. But we're gonna stop here. This seems like a good place to stop. 